The third beta of Android 12 is rolling out to Pixel phones as of now and I have it installed here in my Pixel 4 Air. So in this video I'll cover all the noticeable changes that comes with it and even let you know if it is stable enough to install on your main phone or not. Hey guys, this is Philips Future. Drop a like to this video and let's jump right in. The update for me was 546 megabytes. It took some time to download and install the update, but we are not here for that. Let's see what's new in this build. The first thing I noticed is this cool animation when you unlock your phone using the fingerprint option. On the home screen, the app folders now show icons way better than before. The Google Assistant button in the Google search bar at the bottom is now swapped with the mic icon. The biggest change, at least for me, has to be in the wallpapers and style section, which has received a revamp from the older one. Here you can change the wallpaper or icon grids like it has always been, but the new changes lies within the themed icons and in the colors section. Starting with the themed icons, when you toggle this option on, all the Google Apps icons as of now adapt to the color theme you choose, which is neat in my opinion. You can also pick colors from the basic selected ones or let the wallpaper pick a palette for you. And these colors will apply to the Google icons and other menus as well, just like Material U promised to do. Color theming also extends to the camera app. The buttons all over the app now adapt to the color theme. And this will extend to other Google apps soon enough. Pulling down the notifications, you can see there's nothing new going on here other than the fact that the settings and the power icons have been swapped. Hopping into the system settings, you can see that the security patch is of July 5th, 2021. And while we are still here on the settings page, you can see that these icons are now not colorful like they used to be on previous builds. The toggle icons have also received a revamp, they look more modern than before. The tap animation is still here unfortunately, so I think we should just get used to it because it seems like it's going to stay till the final stable build. The other feature is the scroll screenshot and to get to this, you just have to press the power button and volume down button at once like you would. And if you're on a page that is scrollable, you will see this option to capture more. This is a feature that has been in other skins like Oxygen OS for a very long time now but it's great that it's found its way to stock Android. If you have auto-rotate on, you must always hate it when the screen rotates to landscape, even if you don't want it to. Lucky for us with this new update, there's an option to enable face detection, and when that's turned on, your phone will use your selfie camera to improve auto-rotation accuracy, so it doesn't change the orientation when you don't want it to. That's kinda smart. In the recent screen, some apps like Chrome and YouTube gets a link button where you can quickly share a link or copy it to clipboard, which is time saving because now you don't have to open the app to copy the link. Pixel Tips app also gets a redesign. You can quickly turn on or off Wi-Fi from the internet toggle. And that's about every change that I've seen in this beta build. But if I've missed any, then drop a comment down below and let's have a chat. The new widgets have not been added in this beta build unfortunately, plus Material U is still the basic one, so we have to wait for that maybe in the next beta. Fingers crossed for that. There's however this bug on the search bar in the app drawer, but this gets back to normal after you swipe to the home screen. So should you install this beta in your main phone? Well, with this beta build, the system has been smoother than before, apps are no longer crashing like before, more bugs have been polished, and it's close to being stable. For me, I haven't experienced any bug that keeps me from using my phone normally, so if you really can't wait for the stable build and really want to test out the new features, then go ahead and try it. If you don't like it or face other bugs, you can always opt out, but for most people, I'd say just wait for the final stable build in at least August. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like to this video because that helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, goodbye, and most of all, stay safe.